Hi everybody, John Scullin here. I've been a paramedic for 30 years and I've been in ambulance sales for over 25 years of that. And this is an exciting new product. It's the Crestline CCL 150. Right off the bat, let me tell you why it's different. Factory backed lifetime paint warranty. You don't see that anywhere else. We've got a lifetime structural warranty on this truck. We have all aluminum cabinetry as a standard. You don't find that in many places. And we've also got a multiplex electrical system. So we have durability, safety, and affordability all wrapped up in one package. Starting up here at the street side front of the module, you'll see the four inch radius corners that we've incorporated into the body. Gives you great aerodynamics and a really sleek look. That's gonna help that corrosion. It's gonna help with aerodynamics. It's gonna help with uh, wind resistance and fuel economy, which is important to everybody. Starting up here at street side one compartment, our oxygen compartment, wanna point out again the Crest Coat. That is a lifetime warranted powder coat finish. It's durable, it stands up over the life of the vehicle. It doesn't fade, it doesn't crack, it doesn't peel. And if it does, it's warranted 100% by the factory. The other feature we can see here is this exterior door seal. What that allows us to accomplish is exterior seal, interior seal. Two, two gaskets on each compartment door, which is almost unheard of in the industry. It saves dust and water intrusion, again, giving you more life on the module when you go to remount. Inside Street Side One, we have the Crestline exclusive O2 to go system. What that is is a ramp that attaches to the door, attaches at the bottom of the tank, the tank is on a dolly, and you're easily able to remove and swap out tanks ergonomically without lifting those big heavy cylinders in and out of the vehicle. This is a great feature. It is an option, but it's available in all models. Here at Street Side Two, we have the electrical and storage compartment. Pointing out again, multiplex electrical system. We have remote diagnostics that are available from the factory. Easy for preventative maintenance. That's important to the fleet guys, right? We also, again, point out this dual door seal. When we open the compartment, this is clearly electrical storage. Keep in mind, the covers are off of these right now so we can show you the system. Inside the electrical compartment, we'll point out we do use LED lights. You can either choose from the four inch round or the high intensity rope lighting. Up in the top, we have the Pran electrical system. The, all of the electrics and diagnostics take place here. And again, there's a cover that goes over this. Just below is an easily accessible and easy to maintain location for your inverter. We use the Xantrex Freedom XC 1000 Pure Sine Wave. So great for transfers, great for everyday use. Outstanding inverter that also functions as a battery charger. Continuing down the street side of the vehicle, I want to point out uh, this is an auto eject, a 15 amp. The base unit has a normal uh, 15 amp connection, but you can upgrade to auto eject. We're going to point out the aluminum extruded body features again. This design promotes safety, aerodynamics with the four inch rounded corners and the efficiency of a remount process. The paint and the body are going to hold up for the life of the vehicle to remount it and get more money out of that modular conversion. Below we have the rubber wheel well trim, uh, easily replaceable, especially in this market. Uh, we tend to bang these up quite a bit. So here you see a, a durable rubber that's easy to replace from the outside. The maintenance guys are going to love that. So here we are at street side number three. The first thing I want to point out is the storage in this vehicle. 50.8 cubic feet of exterior storage. Oftentimes in a 150 model, other manufacturers have to compromise space uh, and give you less exterior storage. Let's face it, we've got a lot of stuff to carry. On the inside, you'll see adjustable shelves at the bottom, affixed in the center. But the beautiful thing here is an inside outside access. Not very common as a standard feature, but on the CCL 150, this is standard. Whatever equipment you might need to reach from either side, easily accessible. And on these shelves, they're built to be reversible. Some folks prefer them without a lip on them. It's an easy flip, we turn them back over. Again, we're powder coated, right? So durable power coat and finish. Flip the shelves upside down if you have something that you're worried about sliding out. This is one of the most versatile compartments on the unit and one that is cavernous. Look at the size of the bags and things you can store in here. I think it'll really go a long way in meeting your storage needs. Back here at the street side rear of the vehicle, this is a cool feature. This is an underbody bumper mount. What that allows to happen is if you back into something or if you're hitting the rear of the vehicle in the bumper, that bumper is mounted underneath the module. So the bumper can take the impact, it can push forward, and it does not damage the module in any way. Makes for a quick, easy repair, quick swap out, and saves life on the module. 
All right, we're back here at the rear of the vehicle. A lot of stuff to point out. I'm gonna run through it pretty quickly and we'll have more detailed videos later on this. The first thing that stand out, they're flush mounted windows. So all of the second ambulances in the industry, one is from our sister company, Demir's, uh, but these are flush mounted windows, better visibility, lower repair costs, and prevent leaks. All of those uh, salts and dirts and waters that currently leak into your windows and cause the white film around the inside are completely eliminated because these are a fully sealed automotive type window. A great feature, and I really like the visibility that you get out of these in the back. You notice we have the Crestline logo in the bumper of the CCL 150, the rear kick plate. That is customizable with your department name, paramedics, ALS, you know, whatever you want to put in there, you let your sales rep know, we can get it in there. All LED lighting, you have stop turn and tail lights here. Emergency lighting is way with 900 series around the rest of the vehicle. Cast door grabbers, rear backup camera, and Trimark door handles. We use this area to get a whole lot of different features. And of course, flip up bumper, which everybody's going to expect. But again, a very sturdy bumper, reflectivity on it built in, and a lot of again, standard features in this 150 size uh, that stand out from the competition. We haven't talked about module size yet. So the CCL 150 is obviously 150 inches long. The width is 96 inches. In this class of vehicle, 96 inches gives us the ability to give you more of that compartment space on the outside and more cabinet space on the inside, which is often a problem. The standard interior height is 68 inches, and it is available with a 72 inch headroom option. This particular model does have 72 inch headroom, and you'll see more of that on the inside. Back here at the curbside pre compartment, did I mention dual door seals? These are slip. Keeps that dirt and water out. Love it. Let's talk about the compartment itself though, because on a 150 series truck in this industry, this is a cavernous compartment. Uh, we have the optional divider with shelves. You have stair chair storage at the bottom, and you have plenty of room for backboards along with that interior lighting that's all LED. So again, you have more than enough room to store the equipment you need. Keeps the stair chair safely on the curbside of the vehicle, easy to, in, to put in and remove, and plenty of room for it, plenty of clearance, whichever stair chair you're using. And I think you'll find that this compartment suits the needs of almost any agency out there. Back to the CCL 150 on the curbside, I want to point one more thing out. This vehicle is fully compliant with K-Spec 1822 version F and all current change notices. And it meets all GBS 2.0 standards, including remount. That's very important with the new remount standards. This is the part that I'm really excited about. This is our dual entry step. It's safer, easier to access, and a low first step to the ground. So we open the door if we have an ambulatory patient or a crew, just simply for crew member ergonomics getting in and out. You can see this first step is very low. And uh, industry leading, again, if you compare it to others in this class, that's a nice low step for easy entry. Your curbside load lights came on. All we have to do is give the door switch a tap, shuts those off for you, keeps the bugs out, keeps them blinding you. Now let's talk about accessories for oxygen mounting. You can put your oxygen cylinders on the door. Here you can see a D and an E cylinder. You can put them in the walkthrough. There's several different options available. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. And I do want to point out the yellow entry grab handles, easy to see, great ergonomics for stepping in or out, no matter how you approach the door, you have a good grab point. And on the interior, it's all crest coat along with the handles. The inside of the truck is in plywood and mica. It's all powder coated aluminum and it stands up over the time with a lot of use. Electric locks. Find me another ambulance in this category, a 150 Type 3 that has electric door locks standard. The other thing I want to point out is the emergency door releases. In the event of a hardware failure or an accident, if you're inside the vehicle, you can use these emergency door releases to exit. Those are also standard on the CCL 150. Curbside forward door, traditional ALS cabinet or a response bag cabinet. We open this up and you can immediately see you have plenty of room for equipment. We have a large merit response bag at the bottom, durable flooring that matches the interior flooring so you can drag those packs in and out. We've got a monitor on the second shelf, easy to bring in and out of the truck. The shelf is flipped over. We mentioned this about the exterior, but the interior also reversible so you can have a lip. And up here we have a large response bag. And again, you can easily get out of the ambulance, have plenty of room to work, and behind that there's a suction. So plenty of storage space for any type of response 
easy to access, and you'll notice the height of the shelves. This is a very ergonomic design. Whether you're a shorter or taller person, you don't have to either reach too high or too low to access all three pieces of equipment. Really well thought out uh, front storage cabinet on this model. All right, we're concluding the exterior right back up at the front of the vehicle. Again, you can get another look at those beautiful four inch radius corners. Great for aerodynamics and handling, wind resistance, all LED emergency lighting by Wayland, intersection lights, grill lights, the normal complement that you've become used to. Uh, and again, you can have five or seven lights, you just let us know. Hearing protection is important in the industry. Uh, old guys like me, we've been listening to sirens that were too loud, we've got hearing deficit. This is something that we take very seriously. So unlike anyone else in the industry, Crestline on the CCL 150 has a cool design. The siren drivers and speakers are covered in Dynamat. They are mounted inside the grill, which you're probably seeing most everybody else puts it on the outside of the grill. They can fill with uh, snow, dust, and dirt, and debris. And then they're surrounded with more noise deadening material. So the drivers are shooting right out the front. You meet all of the industry levels for decibels and warning. It's an effective siren, but it keeps that sound out of the cab. And that is a really slick design. Now let's talk from the back of the vehicle about industry leading payload. The payload capacity on this truck is incredible because we're not using plywood. We have that all powder coated interior with Crest Coat. From there, the cabinet design is what's really exciting. So we have the newest change notice compliant cabinets that pass all of the crash testing. Uh, built into every single cabinet is inventory control. So if you wanna lock this cabinet from the inside and make sure you know what's in the cabinet, You've got pre-drilled holes for inventory tags. You have the change notice compliant window latching. This is the most exciting piece. We do have an option of restocking on this model, which is not common in this series. And the restocking feature on here is great. How many times have you gone to clean out the cabinet? You gotta open both doors, reach in and hit the latches. What Crestline has done here with the CCL 150 is designed a completely new flip up that's K compliant, meets all the SAE crash tests, and it's got an exterior release for your flip up. So a really quick push up on the latch, your cabinet flips up, you can see that beautiful interior cabinet lighting, the crest coated interiors, and the adjustable shelves. Makes for a really slick package. And we have up to 60.3 cubic feet of storage. You can see how large that S3 cabinet is, and that's an inside outside. We talked about it on the other side of the vehicle about how much you can get in there. And then of course, up top, you have a standard storage compartment uh, with again, LED lighting and reversible shelves. So Crestline has done a fantastic job on the cabinet design on this ambulance. And this is a first in the industry with an exterior release that meets all the crash requirements. Coming in the rear curb side of the vehicle, you can see the uh, reminder of the storage space up to 60.3 cubic feet interior storage. Compare that to the other models, unheard of folks. And all right, again, on the curb side, this overhead storage cabinet, really slick. Again, all LED lighting, LED domes, restocking or opening from the front, so to speak. Again, with uh, crash compliant hardware on there, the cabinet continues the entire length. Keep in mind, this is a 72 inch headroom. The size of the cabinet varies by 68. And below it, of course, we have our head strike pad, some IV hooks, and uh, again, another standard on the CCL 150 six-point seat belts, a very roomy bench that gives you plenty of room to work. you still got your three extra receivers to hold a second patient as you go down the bench. And at the head of the squad bench, a built-in sharps and trash. This is really cool, very ergonomic. You're sitting here starting your IVs or just general work. You've got to get to sharps and trash quick. A very quick slide open. You have a really nice size trash can here and a sharps container to get those sharps out of the way. Sitting in the airway attendant seat now, I'll give you a look at the HVAC systems and some of the controls. So behind this panel, easily accessible for maintenance is your heating, ventilation, air conditioning system. It's a combo unit by Pro Air. And another thing you're gonna notice in this series compared to all the competitors, individually ducted heat and AC. So you get equal temperature and pressure from the front of the ambulance to the back of the ambulance. It's all adjustable, up out of the way, uh, and again, you see the room up there for IV hooks. We're in the 72 inch model, uh, but it's really a slick design. If we pan right over the rear doors, you'll see the digital clock. That is optional, but we have a very nice digital clock and above it are some uh, driver intention indicators for left turn, right turn uh, and brakes. Another nice little feature. 
as we pan back toward the AC and the uh, street side rear wall, just turned off the cabinet lights for you to show you the difference. So when those cabinet lights are on and off, uh, you can see the difference in the lighting level. We're going to pan over to the CPR seat, and a lot of thought went into this CPR seat. It is optional. You can get a full cabinet wall or a CPR seat with six point, and we've positioned it in the CPR location. Uh, too many times in my career I've gotten into a truck to do CPR, and we've got the seat in the wrong spot. A lot of ergonomics and engineering design went into that to ensure it's in the correct place. Panning over from the CPR seat, we've got our overhead airway cabinet. That restocking feature on the outside, inventory control and craft compliant hardware, all very slick. Again, we're going to talk about these aluminum cabinets. They're highly durable, and that's really just going to help you out for the life of the vehicle, and it makes it easy to clean and maintain. Uh, 110 and 12 volt outlets, oxygen outlets. As we move into the action area controls, you'll see a rheostat for the stereo volume. You do get stereo speaker in the back, so on your transfers or have a student riding back here or another attendant, you can listen to a little music. All the controls for dome lighting are here, cabinet lighting, attendant lighting, exhaust fan and suction, very ergonomically located. It's at a nice angle, easy to see. You've got room to mount a mobile radio back here for your communication system. And this is our touchpad that's part of the multiplex electrical system. This touchpad gives you lots of information. In the back, you have your temperature, you have fan uh, controls, temperature controls, you have a checkout timer for zero, five, 10, and 15 minutes of checkout time. If you're plugged into the wall, however, your lights will automatically work. And then here are your patient code indicators. Now on the wall, you see the sign for the LED lighting strips in the cabinets. Those are optional, but available, a very nice feature. We have an EVS attendant seat with the armrest switcher optional and a standard box base, which is great for storing extra equipment. The bulkhead wall is available with a slide through window or as we call a crawl through door. Uh, most folks choose to pick that window, but either one is available to you. Just talk to your rep about that. And then we get into the ALS stack. You see, just like from the outside, we loaded this full of equipment. We've got suction, we've got a Ferno response bag, we've got a merit pack at the bottom, we've got a cardiac monitor and another trauma bag. So you can see how much equipment you can fit into this going back to that 60 cubic feet of interior storage. The top cabinet is smoke Lexan. Uh, this can be lockable, obviously, if you want to make it a medication compartment, but you can see the size we gave you again in here. By using our ducted heat and AC, we've created so much more cabinet room with the bulkhead. This is another great cabinet to store items in and just gives you lots, lots of room to work. Depending on what size boxes you carry, we can fit a lot more into them. Easy to open these uh, crash compliant hardware, Lexan doors, and again, just another look at all the equipment inside there, and a 110 outlet at the front, so you have power to power up all your things that you store in there. And wrapping up the interior, we're going to give you a view of the overhead glove box that are just over the door, easy place to store gloves. That's an option on this model, uh, but as you can see, it's very nicely fitted in and very ergonomic. And we have two different sizes of cylinder holders on there just to highlight the difference and uh, show you what other things we can do. We can also put that uh, oxygen portable brackets in the walkthrough or, or other locations. Just talk to your rep about that. And there's that electric lock button for electric module locks, which are uh, standard on this model, very rare in this class of vehicle.